Hello everybody, Eric the Green back here and I want to do a video on this awesome permaculture nitrogen fixing uh, semi-dwarf locust species. This is Robinia hispata and it's native to the eastern and southeastern United States and it is a, a suckering shrub. It comes up all over from the roots, real shallow rooted very uh, drought heat tolerant and if you have acid soil like this it can uh, it can really get away from you as far as growing everywhere but I don't mind that at all it's really good for the soil and I have plenty of room but if you if you don't have plenty of room that's something you might want to take into consideration but it's just amazing with these droops of flowers all over it now it's not uh, it's not edible in any way this this species uh, cannot be used for anything that I know of but uh, it is it is an awesome pollinator plant for the bees the bumblebees just love it and it is extremely vigorous and uh, these these flower droops are just hanging everywhere. And it rained last night, so we have uh, storms. We had storms and it's kind of beat down, but try to get a scope on, on these flowers. Now this is absolutely no fertilizer whatsoever, just left on its own. So this is what it does in soil that it likes, acid soil. But anyway, and uh, it comes up, like I said, from roots everywhere. And I just noticed next to this um, blueberry, here's one coming up right here through the mulch. Little one just barely starting to come through. And I'll try to find one here that's, yeah, there's one that's a little bigger that's that's came up in the last couple of weeks and they they have thorns but I mean they're not you know they're they're not hard really bad thorns like some of the other you know black locust or honey locust they're bristly I mean that's their common name bristly locusts I'll go up here and see uh, Here's some more mature trees. And this is, all these are from one tree I planted a few years ago. But this is, uh, this is full height right here. About 10 feet is all they'll get. And they just form a thicket, a forest all over. Right there's another taller one. That's, that's full grown. That's full grown, about 10 feet. So, uh, they're really cool, really good for, like I said, they, they are nitrogen fixing in the soil. Really good for bees, just stunningly beautiful. There's some more back there. They just keep going and going if you let them go. But they're easy to, to manage if you wanted them gone. They're easy to manage. The new, the new shoots that come up, like here's one right here. I mean, they're, you just pull those out of the ground real quick. Not a big deal. And they're native too. So here's one think this is last year's new shoot it's already blooming it just takes one one year of growing one year of growth to have awesome flowers but anyway just wanted to bring this uh, plant to your attention because it's uh, really great really great for permaculture it takes no care nitrogen fixing and thank you very much for watching. 